I've just left the uh, Mercedes Benz India headquarters and plant at Sakhan outside Pune. Stage two, the GLA going in for like a beauty treatment here at the decal place. Agia Sophia back there, we've got the grand mosque, the blue mosque right in front of us. The Anadol, Turkey's first domestic mass production vehicle. So it's Istanbul Grand Prix coming to an end and you have Drove in the GLA coming in at the final lap. We've reached the Turkish-Bulgarian border. This is the biggest landmark in all of Plodiv. Moscow, which essentially means son of Moscow. Finally get to see a new country, Romania. So right now, we're in the main street of Bucharest. It's called the Victory Street. So this is it, the Transfiguration Highway. We're going to drive the Trabe. That's the East Germany car that was quite famous before the Berlin Wall came down. This is more an auto rickshaw with a car's body. got this beautiful parliament house. This is the third largest parliament building. We got to meet not one, but two current Mercedes Formula 1 drivers. So these guys are doing something quite historic, and it'll be great to have you a part of it. Race track, the old, old track. Hi. Uh, ah, where's that? Um, follow. follow. Oh. This is the old track. It's a pity we couldn't drive on it. I was hoping we can. We're going to cross the English Channel into the United Kingdom by a train. We went to the London Motor Museum, which is of course famous for the biggest collection of Hollywood cars. So finally we're here at the legendary Le Mans track. And it, it was great fun to push the GLA around the track. We actually got quite a nice vantage spot right next to the Eiffel Tower. We've just about made it into Barcelona, just before the light fade. I've traveled the whole world looking for the biggest waves, and they were bigger than anywhere. We had done something that I'll probably not be able to replicate ever in life. هذه الحكيو على ناس متسابقين جاءوا من السند ودازوا الهند ودازوا اسبانيا وجاءوا المرزوقة وجاءوا دخلوا على طنجة وجاءوا لنا المراكش ناس جاءوا من الهند مساري العالم دازوا الأوروبا لو تيشوفوا الناس كيفاش دايرين كبوا على الطوموبيلات ديالهم وصاروا غاديين ولكن ضربوا 6000 كيلومتر We are here in the Kasba in the heart of Tangier city This road we're driving through through the Atlas Mountains it's in the middle of nowhere but it's just fantastic it's a great driving road Out here in these lonely places like desert, 
you can't leave a man behind. You see someone in trouble, you got to stop and help them because there's no one else who'll do it. We're stuck and we're lost. And just when we'd lost all hope of rescue, this nice man comes along and he has toe straps. The brotherhood of the off-roader, I think it does exist. This road is quite terrible. It's bumpy and bouncy, but the views, it's got the red Sahara to my right, behind me, ahead of me, the red dunes. This is what we've come to Africa for. This is what the Sahara is all about. Mr. Yeah. Vizia is coming in a whole bunch of vehicles. Whatever they, yeah, yeah, they can huh? get their hands on. How do you like my taxi? It's uh, in good shape. It's 20 years old. 25 years old. This is the hand of Fatima. Inshallah, good luck. Oh. Wow. It's got so much this place. The infinite sands of the Sahara. It's got the vast expanse of the Atlantic. If you listen carefully, you can hear the ghosts of the old rally cars pass by. Where's Osip? Osip? You land over. Ah, no! Yeah! <laughs> I call it Africa's magic and that unpredictability, that's what I loved about the place. We spent almost two weeks there. It was a drive of a lifetime. Still stuck in customs. We got to New York yesterday. You know what? I mean, being stuck in New York City for a few extra days is not a bad thing. Good news: the cars are out of customs. Take me with you. Yeah, man. Me too. Your bad job, man. <laughs> I think it's, it's unfair to just say we've had a blast. I think it's more than that. I like the GLA, it's got precise steering. Hurricane Patricia made landfall in Mexico. It sent rain all the way up here. Inside the Henry Ford Museum, Massive U.S. Army base. All right, do you have any ID on you? Yes, sir, I do. What's your purpose out here today? We're driving from New York to San Francisco. It is zero degrees. Really, I'm enjoying this weather. It's, it's brilliant. The power of nature is truly visible here at the Grand Canyon. We are finally on Las Vegas Boulevard. The Las Vegas Motor Speedways. The season's first snow here at Big Tahoe. Thankfully today we have a nice bright sunshine. It's a fitting finale. As we move onwards onto the next continent. Lucas, no rest, no sleep, but there are worse places to be marooned than this. And the wind is literally blowing the cobwebs out of our minds. 
So we're being hugely philosophical today on the GLA adventure. We started off this morning by saying, can you throw a rock in the air and get it to come back and hit you? And we said that the birds in the sky are taunting us. They're just hanging out, suspended in mid air, looking at us, saying you sorry, weirdest creatures. For me, it all started with a spectacular sunrise at the Chihuahua Dam. We're at a Lucha Libre wrestling gym in San Luis Potosi. My search for a Mexican night out ended in the Plaza Garibaldi in Guadalajara de Noche. Today's plan, of course, is to drive 900 kilometers. We're going from Mexico City to San Cristobal. This museum cafe in uh, San Cristobal is known for its coffee. So we're at the Guatemala border. A process that we thought would take about two, two and a half hours has ended up taking more like five and a half. Sunrise at Villa Catarina. There's a great bloody blue lake outside my window and on the other side, three volcanoes. I'm breathless, literally. I cannot, I'm, I'm gasping for breath looking at your cars. If we thought that the Guatemala border was bad, we hadn't seen anything yet. We've been here 10 hours trying to cross over into Honduras. It's quite tiring and uh, disappointing. We're heading to the site of the Copan ruin. Look at the power of nature, folks. You come up here and feel completely insignificant. We've been driving into these land borders, which are incredibly unwelcoming. You can no longer drive right hand drive vehicles in Costa Rica. Side window has been broken and three bags have been pulled out. The bag has documents and passport, both of these are of our cinematographer. Just got a brief glimpse of the city, which is beautiful, incredible weather. It's incredibly peaceful, and all the sounds from the jungle are harmonious and Melody. Doing something like that that I've never saw before. Absolute sheer, unadulterated joy. And love. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like the best script writers in the business couldn't have scripted the kind of troubles that we faced on this leg. So if it were easy, it wouldn't be an adventure. If it were easy, it wouldn't be half as memorable as it's been. The regular people of each country we went through were incredibly nice. The kindness that we saw and felt all along the way is what I will always remember. You've given us a little bit of grief, but a lot of beauty. Brand new continent. We are in Australia. It's the fifth continent. we wanted to get this view and we wanted to show it to you as well. So this is the Harbour Bridge and that's the Opera House. It's uh, the most famous landmark of Sydney. We drifted on a track and now we drifted on water. It's called the Great Ocean Road and it's the world's biggest war memorial. 12, now 9 apostles. It is an absolutely spectacular sight. Now to all of us Indian cricket fans, this is a very special place, the Melbourne Cricket Ground. When I'm talking about football, it's not soccer, it's not football as we know it, it's Aussie rules football. Blue Mountains, they call that because of the forest of eucalyptus here. This track, the elevation changes are huge. It starts and it goes up to 570 feet. That's a huge change in elevation. We're going to the Queensland Speedway where we'll be taught how to drift by a professional stunt driver. So we've arrived at the headquarters of the Uluru Park. You just can't help falling in love with it. Now this is a special spot. This is where the southern right whales come for carving and breeding. Look at that, guys. What are the most popular things about Australia? The kangaroos and the koalas. What's his name? His name's Spoon. Spoon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
Anybody want one? Fresh, right out of the water. We've spent a long time on the road here in Australia. We've clocked 9,736 kilometers just here on this continent. We truly are blessed to be doing what we are doing.